Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, the money too. Like damn, she in her mood. Hey y'all, welcome back to a new a vloggy vlog. If you're new here, my name is Nyla. I feel like there's a hair on my forehead. Welcome back to a new a vloggy vlog. If you're new here, my name is Nyla. I make a lifestyle content with a little bit of beauty and fashion sprinkled in. So if you're not already a part of the family, why is my hand on my hip? If you're not already part of the family, come join the family. You're going to love it here because everybody loves it here now. So I'm period. So today's Thursday. Today is my little Galentine's Day pour it out night with my friends and I'm hosting. That's going to be in a separate vlog that y'all will see before this. But before I go run the rest of my errands that I need to run today to get you know the rest of the things for the party I'm going to meet Crystal at this uh, Middle Eastern I think they're uh, from Yemen if I'm not mistaken but I'm getting ready to meet her at a coffee shop called Haraz and then after we get coffee I'm gonna go run my errands for the party editing and I will probably insert some clips of what the party ended up turning out like but I will definitely take y'all with us to the coffee shop because that's the first time that we're going there or at least my first time. I don't think Crystal's been, but yeah. So we're getting ready to go. I'm dressed. This is really why I need a full length mirror. You guys, I finally cracked the code on my no makeup makeup look and I think she looks really, really good. It's definitely giving my skin but better. Very happy I didn't end up putting any product on my nose because my nose is usually the first place to sweat. I have on these black leggings from Lululemon. We don't shop there anymore because they don't want people who look a certain way buying from their company. So these are old. I also have the matching top. This Renaissance hoodie that I got on tour. I'm wearing my Yeezys, well, one of them because I have quite a few pairs. And then y'all didn't see this bag because I didn't show it to y'all. But if you follow me on TikTok, you saw my coach Chanel dupe. Um, so I'm carrying her. I'm probably going to carry her as like a crossbody. But yeah, and then I'm going to put on my Aritzia Super Puff. And that is it. So let's go get coffee. On a date, you guys, kind of nervous. I don't have mine anymore. I'm going to sh instead of Chirac. What's a what's a <laughs> what's the name for DC? <laughs> We interrupt this program for a not so brief segment from Sherb and Danielle. What's good? Welcome. Y'all ain't seen me in a minute, but I got a surprise for y'all. I'm screaming. Please ignore Sherabia Now I don't know what's wrong with her. We, we got our tickets. I had to do the doing. She always gets our tickets. I don't know why she be stressed because it works all the time. But hello vlog. I know you guys probably missed me. Please ignore my little <laughs> braided up do. You know, cran grape is disgusting. Minute Maid cran grape is even worse. Here's my Stanley cup. Be careful, you might get lead poisoning, they say. No, that's only from the Starbucks cups. Oh. And that's what you get for breaking the, uh, not you, but they get. Breaking the for, um, Yeah. Well, they have a class action, so I'm going to get some money. Remember when Boohoo had a class action and they sent everybody ten dollars? Don't hold your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion over two, they gave me a gift card. Bitch, I don't want to go to you. Ten dollars, like girl. Me alone. Enough, the times I bought from Fashion Over that was when I was trying to see what it was here for. Nothing. So then the gift card really went to nothing. Yeah, like I think if I get on Fashion Over right now, I can see all ten, maybe twelve orders I've placed in my whole entire life. Yeah, only because Fashion Nova will give you that one day shipping. That one day shipping is a bad 
girl. Yeah, that's what I've heard. But I just don't like any of their clothes. It's not giving. It just be slutty. Not, not, not the slut shame blog. I do apologize. Are we gonna be in a montage? Just let me know. No, no, um, no this is gonna be a, a little <laughs> break from the montage. No, I got some workout clothes to fashion over. Stupid. When I tell you <laughs> the the long sleeve sports bra is this wide across my titties, I'm like, bro, I can't do nothing in this. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh, where can you get that top from? If it's a Ritz, you're lying. It's Lululemon, but we don't shop there anymore. Oh my gosh, y'all don't shop there. That man don't even work there no more. Oh. Damn. I, I feel like though like, the Aritzia TNA Butter collection is a dupe for this, though. Out of my tax bracket. Target. It's a little cheaper than, than Lululemon. I already bought my one outfit. That's okay. I'm done. Y'all got me a little black set. They have... I think it's called solar purple. I wanted it so bad. So, so, so bad. Girls be like, oh, do you like blue lemon in the gym? Oh, I don't work out at yeah, all. So that's sorry. Leisure. It's for me to go run errands. Why would I spend $200 and not go get seen? You're tripping. I'm going to the mall. <laughs> and when I get my coach nail, it's over. I'm going to be in my little lemon set. With my that's how I felt today. I felt like a rich suburban. I want that back so bad. I'm so I think it's back in stock. It's not back in stock yet. It's supposed to come in February. I really think what they're going to do is release it, it on is Monday February. or something. No, that's what I'm saying. It just added that. It's like, join the list. And then it says, coming back in February. I think they're going to do like a Valentine's Day thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> We're not going to get copyrighted because I don't even want to hear that shit. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Take a bite. You're so Damn, you kind of greedy. That was too big. <laughs> hey, it's thirsty, you know, the freakiest day of the year because oh, tomorrow's right. Woo! We get paid, I think. I might not get paid tomorrow. But anyway, what y'all doing for Valentine's Day? This is the corner, by the way. It's Valentine's Day almost. What are you guys doing? How are you feeling? Are you in love? Are you single? Are you feeling evil about it? That's okay. Whatever you do, don't do crime. Don't get pregnant. Wrap it up because it's nothing worse in my mind than being pregnant in the summer. <sighs> Think about it. Know about it. I'm a Valentine's Day baby. I was just born early. So, think about that. You want to be pregnant all summer? Hot, sweaty, big. Breathing heavy, back hurt, knees hurt, ankles hurt. My sister pregnant, she said her bone was turning soft. You want that for you in the summer? Exactly. Babe, pop them pills, that birth control pill, something. Don't get pregnant yet, it's not time. Get pregnant at the end of the summer so you can be pregnant when it's cold. <sighs> Have your baby when it's hot. Then you can be outside in the sun with your baby. Combat some of that postpartum, even though I'm not an expert. I'm just a therapist. But I love you guys. Even if you got you a man or a lady or a non-binary partner. And another time, once again, get in the comments and talk back. Y'all always want to talk. If not, I'll talk about cup shop. I love cups. But if I ask you a question that requires a response, y'all act like y'all don't want to do y'all homework. In a minute, you're going to get an F. And you're not going to graduate from my university. Exactly. Another thing, am I allowed to say where we going yet? We are going to see Ursha. Yep, we going on tour. Also, guys on my side, I'm going to see Nate Stallion. Hot girls, real hotties, tap in. And say how you feel about Nate Stallion. Participate in your course. Participation points will help you pass class. But other than that, you know, tap in in the bottom. Happy Valentine's This going up before Valentine's Day? Mm. Or on Valentine's Day or something like that? So I love you guys. Mwah! And kiss back. Because I'm not here for the one side of kiss that y'all been doing. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. Hello vlog. It is Friday. The last you saw of me yesterday was probably at the coffee shop. And then um, when I came back, I had to set up, I, well, I picked up the balloons, I picked up the cupcakes, I went to Harris Teeter to get flowers and some raspberries because the raspberries was the last thing that I needed to make my little drink. 
which the drink came out really, really good. And then I set up in here before I left. Sharabia had came over like around five because she just wanted to come early. And then she was taking her last meeting with her client here. And then while she was here with Skipper, I went to Olive Garden and I went to go get the food. And I just had to set that up and rearrange some things. And then everybody came and then we had a great time. And I'm sure editing nine might insert a few clips, but not too much because you need to make sure that you go and watch that Valentine's Day vlog if you haven't watched it already. But yeah, today is Friday and it is 9.18. I have a wax appointment at 10. So I'm gonna leave here like around like 9.45ish. 9.45 should be fine. I don't think there's traffic right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a wax and then I'm gonna come home. We're gonna make breakfast. We're gonna do laundry. I basically already cleaned in here for the weekend. I just have to re-vacuum my rug a little bit, but we basically cleaned so I don't really have to do that. I just need to do laundry um, like for my clothes. And then I need to start editing my Valentine's Day vlog and also pull clips from it because I got some clips on my phone, but I also wanna see what the footage is looking like on my camera because I wanna put together a TikTok and put it up today by later on today, that's the plan. And then my goal is to also hopefully, depending on how I'm feeling, it's a little bit of a gloomy day outside, so we'll see how productive I'm feeling. But I'm also thinking about filming finally my no makeup makeup routine because my skin is cooperating right now. She looks really good. Um, and also I have finally like perfected my no makeup makeup routine. So yeah, I really want to film that for TikTok because I have finally perfected it. And now when I go and do my errands, especially the more that I do it, I just don't feel like putting on makeup today. But the more I do it, I feel like the faster I'll get at it. But it's really simple. I just use a tinted moisturizer, just a little bit of concealer under the eye, bronzer stick, tap on some blush with my fingers. Oh, also apply the tinted moisturizer with my fingers versus a brush. Even if I use a less dense brush, it still comes out fine, but I found that I like it better when I apply it with my fingers. Brush up my brows with a little brow gel and just clean up under them. Set my under eyes, do powder, bronzer, a little bit of powder, powdered blush, spray my face, mascara, line my lips a little bit, lip gloss, call it a day. Easy peasy. But yeah, I wanna film that. And then I wanna see what other content I want to film this weekend because I have ideas like in my content planner, but I need to like go through them and flesh things out. And there's also some things that I want to film for freaking YouTube as well. That's not vlog content, it's more so beauty content. I need to go ahead and plan that out and flesh that out as well. So that's really the plans for today and probably like this weekend. And then we're taking my mom to brunch tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. My brother, my nephew, and my sister-in-law are also coming. So very happy about that. So I will take y'all with me for that. I might do my no makeup makeup look for that too because I don't want to do a full face. But yeah, that's really the plans. Um, if I end up getting into anything else over the weekend or during the week obviously i will bring you guys along but enough of my rambling let me finish drinking my water <sighs> and i will talk to you beautiful people later She eat it for her mama I'ma say you fuck her right Body big and spoon but like Tell me if I'm humble cry Tell me if you down Cause I'm trying to go for tonight All day hope you said you're right I just wanna live in a fantasy I think we deserve a ride Talk about the memory I've ever made in my life Permanent ecstasy Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. It is, I think, a little after 10 in the morning. 
Actually, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. I just finished doing my skincare. Obviously, she's very glowy in my hair, and I'm actually setting up right now because my plan is to film a video that I should have filmed like last week and that I just didn't get to. So we're setting up right now. It's going to be a January beauty favorites video. What I'm doing right now is plugging my camera into my TV. This is what it looks like using my TV as a monitor. The lighting is really good today because it's nice outside. All right, you guys, my makeup is done. It's 12 o'clock. We should have been done a long time ago in filming, but I was taking my time and watching something on YouTube. So yeah, but my makeup's done. I'm about to start filming this video. So let's see how she comes out. You guys, I finished filming my January favorites. I'll go back and look at the footage and hopefully I like it and I don't have to refilm it. Um, but Sharavia was doing her office favorites with me for the month. Paper make, paper make, enjoy. Sharpie S gel <laughs> mouth Hello Kitty sticker water bottle Her. Oh. oh oh air purifier clean your hair that's important Oh wait last one mask Thank you for coming to her office favorites video <laughs> I'm gonna come on camera and talk to y'all later because I have a package from Ceremonia coming in today. I didn't order it. I got new, I got products for free from them and I love that for me. Um, and then I also did get something in the mail yesterday from Amazon. It's a Korean skincare product. It's a cleansing oil. It's supposed to be for like taking off makeup and sunscreen and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna try it today. And then I'm also gonna show y'all what I got from Ceremonia. So we'll chat later on tonight when it's time to use skin, do skincare. Oh, I get to prop y'all up on my mirror again with my little suction cup tripod thing that I typically use in my car. Ah, okay, we'll talk later. Bye. As you guys just saw, I had to use my little carpet cleaner. It's usually what I used to clean up Skipper's accents if he has any, which he doesn't really do that anymore, thankfully, but I keep it just in case, cause you never know. Or I could have an accident and then I need to clean it up. Like I did today, my clumsy ass dropped something on my cream rug. Although the rug is from Ruggable, you can throw it in the washing machine. I haven't washed it since I got it. Just cause sometimes I wonder like, is that gonna fit in my washing machine? So I might have to get it, I can try, but if it doesn't, then it'll have to get professionally cleaned. Um, or I can take it to my parents' house cause their washing machine is a little bit bigger, but that's why I haven't put it in my washing machine, but I could shampoo it by hand cause I do have a shampooer. But anyways, I dropped my coffee on the fucking rug like a clumsy bitch, like the clumsy bitch that I am. Could have had a panic attack, but I decided that we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be an adult and just tackle the issue. And Sharabia was like, you have that little, a carpet cleaner but I was like I'm not sure if that will work on this material because on some materials it doesn't work so like for me like when I when Skipper had peed on my couch that shit did not work on my couch because it couldn't like grip the material properly that's why I had to have 
properly. Why did I say that that way? That's why I had to have a professional come in and clean it. But we got it out. It's looking back to normal now. I'm letting that area dry. We'll see what it fully looks like when it's done drying, but it looks like I got the stain out. So we'll see. I tried to make sure I sucked up as much water as possible too. So now I'm gonna make myself a new fucking cup of coffee because I spilled my original freaking cup. And we will come back on later like I had planned to when my stuff from Ceremonia comes and also um, to show y'all the new uh, cleansing oil that I got that I wanna try. Oh, and to update you on the products from Road since we'll be in there doing skincare anyways. I just came back from Target. I know I said we would check in later when my stuff came in and it came in. So we'll do this quick because my battery's dying and then we'll come back on when it's time to uh, wash my face. But I got my products from Ceremonia. I got the guava shampoo and the guava conditioner. I'm very excited. Ooh, this is a little looser than my other one. I'm excited to try these. Um, I made a TikTok about this. Excuse me. Um, but I was saying how I feel like we can all benefit from using products that are meant for damaged hair because I feel like all it does is help to reinforce your hair. Oops, this is dying. Um, so I love that I have this, especially now too that I'm about to get my hair recolored and y'all know I like to dibble and dabble in the various shades of blonde. So won't be using this this weekend because I'm getting my hair done professionally, but probably the following weekend or the weekend after I'll be using this for the first time and I'll check in and let y'all know how I like it. But yeah, better. He's dying. Talk later. All right, guys. We are in the bathroom. Obviously, <laughs> have y'all propped up on my mirror. I'm washing my hands right now before I actually wash my face. Um, because it's important to have clean hands. I just ate dinner, by the way. I'll put a picture up of what I ate, but I made one of my HelloFresh recipes. It was a zucchini and garlic flatbread with tomatoes. It was very, very good. Um, so yeah, that was yummy. I also had some wine with that and it was too good. Um, just one glass, and that was enough for me. Um, but yeah, now we are going to wash our face with a new product. Before I go on with that product and show y'all what it is, I wanted to update y'all on the road skin since I used it in the last weekly vlog, not the Valentine's Day vlog that went up before this. So I like everything from the brand that I had gotten. The only thing is, and I thought that I experienced this after a few days of using the cleanser, but then I wasn't sure, so I stopped using it. I went back to my matcha hemp cleanser, and then the past two days I was using the road skin um, pineapple refresh cleanser again it doesn't make my skin like tingle or anything like that but it makes my eyelids break out a little bit i also feel like underneath my eyes are a little sensitive and i have like just like a slight rash above like my lip and that's it and that wasn't there when i was using the matcha hem cleanser and i thought i noticed that um after a few days of initially using the pineapple refresh cleanser but then I was like, maybe it's all in your mind because anytime I do try a new skincare product, I always have a fear that it's going to break my skin out. And sometimes I'd be feeling like I'm imagining things, but no, I wasn't imagining things. But aside from those side effects, like it doesn't sting, it doesn't tingle, it doesn't make my skin itch or anything, just those specific areas. And I know that it's that because I've been using the glazing milk for months. And yes, I put it around my eyes and around my mouth. I've been using it for months and never had no issues. The moisturizer and the peptide glazing fluid, you're not supposed to put it around your eyes. And so I don't put it around my eyes. So the only thing that could be causing like a slight rash in my inner eyelids and making my under eyes feel weird is that cleanser. So unfortunately we had to throw her away. I didn't have the original packaging anymore and I don't know what their return policy is, but if I still had the original box and they did take returns, I would have tried to return it, but I didn't have the packaging anymore. So yeah, but everything else, I already told y'all I love the glazing milk. I've been using the moisturizer in place of what I typically use, which is the um oats so simple water cream but i told y'all that is not doing it for my skin right now so the road barrier restore cream has been my holy grail 
for a morning and night and then i've been liking the peptide glazing fluid the summer fridays one is still my favorite but i did buy it so i'm gonna finish using it and i do like it anyways we are gonna wipe this makeup off our face so y'all know that burst sent me their um cleansing balm which it is really good it takes everything off my only qualm is when i double cleanse with this and then going in my, with my water base or my gel cleanser because you're supposed to use an oil based cleanser so a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm for the first step of your double cleanse and then you go in with a water based gel type of cleanser for the second thing my matcha hemp cleanser is a hydrating cleanser and typically it does not make my skin dry but double cleansing with this and that is making my face dry so that's a little bit annoying so i was trying to look for a cleansing oil that one had like not too many ingredients and was safe for sensitive skin and then two that was going to be a little bit moisturizing and hydrating because i don't want my face my face feeling dry after double cleansing i just feel like your face is not supposed to feel like that like when you're cleansing your face period i got the haru haru wonder black rice moisture deep cleansing oil it's unscented it's this is korean skincare it has a uh, rice bran oil olive fruit oil and then sunflower seed oil the rice bran oil is to even out skin texture the olive oil is for balancing sebum production and removing impurities oh the rice bran oil also helps nourishing the skin and then the sunflower seed oil is to help with retaining moisture and strengthening your skin barrier all things that i think are very important like i said this only has i think nine ingredients it's made with 95% natural ingredients yeah it's supposed to be sensitive skin safe so yeah this is what the bottle looks like. It's super duper pretty, super pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna try it and see how I like it. So you're supposed to, when you're using like oil cleansers, you're supposed to put it in your hand, rub it together, put it all over your face, massage it in, do all that stuff. And then once you rub and do all of that, you can also use this too to not just take off makeup. It, like you cannot be wearing any makeup but if you wear sunscreen every day which you should this can help break it down so yeah but then you take some water and you emulsify it so it becomes like milky and then like you rinse that off and then you go in with your regular cleanser so i really hope that i end up liking this and that it does not break my skin out my favorite like cleansing oil cleansing balm at the moment is the elemis cleansing balm this shit is expensive it's very very good but it's expensive so i'm trying to find an alternative and this was less than 20 dollars if my skin reacts and i really hope that it does not but this is the only new product that we're using so if i wake up with any rashes tomorrow outside of the ones that were caused from the road cleanser i will know that it's this Ooh. first impressions because sometimes when I use cleansers and things for the first time, like my skin will tingle and do all the things. It's not doing that. Now, we are going to emulsify it a little bit with some water. Now it's like a, a, a milky substance. And now we are gonna rinse this off. I made a mess. And now we're going in with our matcha hemp cleanser, which now that the road one, I know that it doesn't work for me. I have to go on Crave and order another one of these. All right, let's rinse this off now. But yeah, aside from the pimples that were already on my face, the slight rash that I had like around my eyes, my forehead was already broken out here. I think it's a fungal acne flare up. Aside from that, my face feels fine. I don't have any itching we'll see what my skin is looking like in the morning i'm gonna go take a shower and then i'm gonna come out and do my normal skincare routine or the rest of my skincare routine which i already showed y'all in the last weekly vlog it's gonna be the rest of the road products and then i'm gonna hop into bed and watch tv so we will chat maybe tomorrow we'll see how i'm feeling because my period's supposed to start so it's dependent on how i feel but we will definitely chat later though
Hey y'all, happy Wednesday? Yeah, today is Wednesday. Happy Valentine's Day, happy love day everyone. Hope that your day is filled with happiness and love even if you're not in a relationship, cause I'm not in a relationship, I'm a single person. Sorry, I have food stuck in my teeth. I'm a single person. Valentine's Day, I will not lie, is not my favorite holiday. It never has been, even though I've been in a relationship before during Valentine's Day, but it's just never been my favorite holiday. But I do love seeing love and seeing the people in love and celebrating. But just because you're single doesn't mean that you can't enjoy your day as well. Um, so do something special for yourself. Well, by the time you're watching this, Valentine's Day will be over. So I hope you do something special for yourself or you did something with your friends or, you know, something like that. But yeah, happy love day. Y'all saw my little morning montage. I went to Harris Teeter this morning because I had to go get some garbage bags and some grocery items i'll end up going to the grocery store again on um the weekend because or tomorrow it depends if i make my last hella fresh meal today or not we'll see how my hunger levels are doing but i had to go get some salmon from publix because i would like to have some salmon this upcoming week and then i gotta figure out what else i want to eat because i skipped my hella fresh boxes for the rest of the month so i can get back to like cooking some meals that are not HelloFresh, even though I love HelloFresh meals. So yeah, but that was my little morning montage, made breakfast. I'm about to watch Love is Blind, doing some stuff on my computer. Oh, I did wanna show y'all because I told y'all yesterday my clumsy ass spilled coffee on my fucking carpet. And I used the shampooer, which y'all saw me doing. The stain did come out. It looks back to normal. I think I want to shampoo my whole rug instead of trying to throw it in the washing machine. I'm just really worried that my washing machine is not big enough. The rug can go in the washing machine. I think I have a standard washing machine in here, but I'm not sure. I feel like the one at my parents' house is a little bit bigger. So I would feel comfortable washing it in their washing machine, but I'm scared to wash it in mine. The other thing is kind of pure laziness. To have to move this coffee table, it's cement. It's concrete. This shit is heavy. It slides easily on the carpet, but like this shit is heavy and I don't really like sliding it on that wood floor because I already scratched the floor a little bit. So I really, after I got this rug, I really don't want to move any of my furniture. The, the sofa is not the biggest hassle in the world to move. It's really the coffee table, but I don't want to move anything. So I'm thinking about, I can shampoo it all myself by hand, like with my little shampooer. But I also thought about like renting a little shampooer. Actually, I don't have to do that. I think my dad has a shampooer at home. Why would I rent one when I can just buy, when, not buy, when I could just, well, I'm not gonna rent it from a place because um, then I'd have to pay. I can just rent it from my parents. I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure he bought a new one like last year or the year before. I'm gonna text him because I don't need it right now, but I think that's gonna be my solution to not throwing it in the washing machine is to just shampoo it. Cause I just think that would be easier. It can just sit here and dry all day. Um, I let this spot dry overnight and it looks fine. Stain came out, so yeah. That's what we might do. I'm glad I just thought about that. Um, But yeah, we cleaned the spot out. I'm glad it came out, so very happy about that. I just wanted to update y'all on that. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna do some shit on my computer. I'm trying to plan out what I wanna do for my birthday because it's February. My birthday is March 25th, Aries gang. So yeah, I'm turning 29 this year. I'm not really feeling any kind of way about that. Like, yeah, we are getting close to 30 like this is my last year in my 20s but like I'm not like nervous or anxious at least not right now about turning 30 I also have heard that your 30s and 40s are like great times so anyways I haven't been feeling like celebrating my birthday and it has nothing to do with the age that I'm turning it's more so about life at this moment I'm happy-ish right now but there's just 
life is just i just don't feel like celebrating my birthday i'm not really going to get into the why of it with y'all just because i don't feel like talking about it right now but i've been talking about it with like danielle and sherb and they're like you should at least do something because like you might regret like not celebrating your birthday at all and i always love celebrating my birthday i love celebrating me in general and doing whatever the fuck nyla wants to do because yeah um <laughs> Um, so I love celebrating my birthday every year. Um, we finna put y'all right here. I'm tired of holding y'all. Are you gonna stay? Yeah. Okay, so I typically love celebrating my birthday. I'm just not feeling the vibes this year. But I was really upset during COVID. Yes, I'm very grateful that I'm alive and that's why I didn't complain about it too much while COVID was happening because I just felt like it was insensitive because you know, people were dying. People are still dying from COVID by the way because COVID has not gone anywhere, you guys. But I was really upset when COVID started in 2020 because when the country shut down, I had plans for my birthday. It was my golden year. I turned 25 on March 25th, so it was my golden year birthday and I didn't get to do shit. I had plans for that whole weekend, had to cancel all of them um, because the country was on lockdown. I was really pissed and like kind of sad that I didn't get to celebrate my birthday. And so even though this is not that situation, there is a part of me that thinks that I will be a little sad if I don't do anything for my birthday. I bought myself something nice already for my birthday, even though my birthday is not until next month. The only reason why I bought it when I did is because it's a bag. Um, it's a coach bag. I don't think I showed it to y'all. TikTok has seen it already because I did like kind of an unboxing, but I bought myself the coach quilted tabby. It's a gorgeous bag. It's like low key a Chanel dupe kind of sort of. Um, but not Chanel prices because I don't have 12 bands to spend on a fucking bag. I've been wanting that bag since like last year when they initially released it and it was like only released in limited quantities and then like they decided to bring them back this year and they have them in different colors now. I got the black one with the brass hardware or gold hardware. I was gonna return it for the silver hardware, but I, I'm glad I didn't do that and I kept the, the one with the brass hardware because it's really pretty. Also, I wear a lot of gold jewelry, so it makes more sense for my lifestyle but the reason why i bought the bag as early as i did even though my birthday is not until next month is because i knew that shit would sell out and i don't think they've restocked it yet so i told myself whether i celebrate my birthday or not that's probably going to be at least one nice thing that i do for myself and i'm going to try to make it a tradition to buy myself a bag for my birthday like every year but yeah so i told myself whether you celebrate your birthday or not you should at least get yourself something nice so that was my something nice for myself. But I think I am gonna do something and I texted my friends to see if they were free that weekend just because like I hadn't mentioned anything about my birthday at all. But I did text them to see if they were available that weekend and they were. But I did tell them I was thinking about not celebrating my birthday and Crystal was like, even if you said you wasn't gonna do nothing, we was gonna make you do something. And that's funny because they probably would have. So anyways, I'm trying to think about, this is a tangent. I'm trying to think about what I wanna do. First, I have to find my outfit. That is always like priority number one. It's find my outfit. So I have BBX brand pulled up and because Valentine's Day, they're doing like a 20% off sale. So, and their shit's expensive. So I'm gonna see what it's giving. Also, cause I have a lot of BBX brand in my closet. I be giving them money since like 2019, 2020. I don't know, I feel like, do they work with influencers? Can I get a discount code? Because, hello. But yeah, I'm looking on there first to see what I like. I'm also gonna check House of CB and maybe a few other places, but gotta secure an outfit first. And then I build plans around it, essentially. But my original plan before I decided not wanting to celebrate my birthday, it's an it's an idea I'm still entertaining. I said this to my friends, if I don't end up doing that, it will just be a nice cute little dinner like I typically do every year for my birthday, but I like doing like, I just like going to nice restaurants and eating for my birthday, it's a vibe. If we don't do that, the idea that I'm still entertaining, I need to see how much it would cost me. But I thought about either renting out the clubhouse in my apartment or the rooftop that's upstairs in my apartment. It has a nice view of the skyline. But my thought was to do that and then have like a chef or something or someone come in and like cook like basically a 
four, a three course or a four course meal type of thing. And it'd be like a little birthday dinner party. And I thought that that would be like really, really cute. So instead of going to a restaurant, everybody would come here. Obviously compared to just going out to a restaurant, that's going to obviously be the more expensive option. So we'll see what we want to do, but I am gonna celebrate my birthday despite not really being in the celebrate my birthday kind of mood. So that's where we are on that and that's what I'm trying to figure out today. We'll start to figure out today. I don't really have any plans today. My period is supposed to start today. It hasn't started yet but I woke up with cramps this morning so I anticipate that she will probably come by tonight at the latest tomorrow. So that's not going to be fun because I will be lying down with a heating pad. Yeah, I don't really have plans today but to figure out what my potential birthday outfit is and watch love is blind and do some other admin shit oh i need to edit some content as well i already have something to post for tiktok today but i need to go through some footage and start editing this vlog and then also something else that i have recorded on here that i might want to use for tiktok i just have to see how the footage came out and then i gotta look at some footage from yesterday when i recorded a video to see if i still want to use that for a video or if I'm just gonna end up refilming it. And I feel like I might end up refilming it, but I'm really trying to not be that much of a perfectionist and just like fucking edit the video and post it. But we shall see. So that's really the plans for today. Oh, update. I had told y'all that I wasn't gonna use my new ceremonial products that they sent me this weekend because I was supposed to get my hair done by Judy, but she can't do mine and my mom's hair this Saturday anymore. So we're waiting on her to confirm a different date, but my hair has to be washed. So we will be using the new products this weekend. I'll probably wash my hair on Friday morning or tomorrow night. We'll see, we'll figure it out, but I will be trying the new products. So I will let y'all know how I like them. I think that's all the updates that I have for y'all. And what I wanted to rant to y'all about. So yeah, I'm gonna watch Love is Blind and do what I said I was gonna do. And we will probably chat probably tomorrow or on Friday. So yeah. Hello y'all. Happy Friday. I just picked up my food from downstairs. My Uber Eats driver just delivered my food. Y'all know I don't typically cook on the weekends. I also have to go grocery shopping and I didn't go today. I've been editing this vlog that you're watching all day. Um, so yeah, I got food from Pisces. I haven't had them in a little minute. I got some garlic noodles just cause I was in the mood for them. I got the filet mignon, the steak kibachi. So good. And they give so much food. Unless I'm like super duper hungry, which I did not eat lunch today. I still know I'm not gonna eat all of this today because this is a lot. Even when I have it in the restaurant, I always end up taking food home because they give you a lot of food. But yeah, anyways, before I eat, so good, steak is fresh. Before I eat, we are actually gonna end the vlog because I've edited most of it already and we are at I think like 44 or 45 minutes um, which I didn't think that I recorded that much footage but shocked my ass I did so y'all are getting a little bit of a, of a longer vlog this week so I'm gonna end the vlog here and I'll probably start a new vlog and then we'll see what we get into this upcoming week actually yeah because I have some packages that should be coming next week so Yes, one of them is from a brand. The other one is something that I ordered for my birthday. As I told you, I decided we're gonna celebrate my birthday. I decided to just go ahead and do a restaurant, but I'm doing a restaurant that we had talked about trying a long time ago. And I don't know if anyone else has already been, but I haven't been, especially because I wasn't living here for like the past year. And it's called The Drift and it's on Lake Wiley. And it's a really, 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 really pretty restaurant. So I made a reservation there for the weekend of my birthday. And I'm very excited actually. So I'm glad I decided to do something instead of not doing anything. But anyways, we are gonna end the vlog. <laughs> like I said, I was, instead of me rambling, we're gonna end the vlog here and I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come join the family. If you're not already part of the family, you're gonna love it here because everybody loves it here and that's on motherfucking period. So yeah, love you guys so much and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.